to Sweet Art Factory. I'm Jill Foster, the owner, and today I'm going to show you how to make a celebration cake. You only need a few things from your grocery store, some things you have in your kitchen, and then you can pick up some things at our website at sweetartfactory.com or just pick it up at your local craft store. And we are ready to get started. The things that you're going to need at the grocery store are some candies that you can find there. The first are these Dots candies. They come in a lot of variety of different colors. Also, these are called Airheads, and they come also in a pack of a variety of different colors as well. We're going to use those. And this is one of my favorite things to use. They're called Extreme Sours. They're from the Airhead company, and we're going to actually make rainbows using those. And I filled a decorator bag, a disposable decorator bag, with a number 16 tip, and I put sky blue color in here to also decorate the cake. So we're ready to get started. Um, just using the frosting bag, I'm going to make little eyes. If you think of writing, you're just writing eyes as you go along. They kind of look like U's also, but I'm going to put little dots on top so that it's going to look like eyes. The nice thing about thinking about writing when you're making a cake is that usually the each of things is always equally dispersed along because you're so used to writing. I'm going to actually put little dots up here to kind of give it a little decoration. And then I don't need to do a bottom border because I used the airhead candies that have the rainbow style on it. So you can see right here, right there at the bottom that I just put those along. It was almost like buying edible ribbon and putting them at the bottom of the cake. And it comes in the rainbow colors. Then taking my airheads, these are airheads. When you unwrap them, they look like this. They've got kind of a ridgy side and then they've got a smooth side. And what I did was I took them and I just cut strips. So you can see I just cut strips down and then using a stick or a cookie stick or a bamboo stick i've even got a bamboo stick most people have these around their house in their um, kitchen there you're just going to wrap it around just wrap like this and then you just slide it off and then you can just stick it on the cake okay so i did a whole bunch ahead of time i'm just going to actually make these Kind of, kind of give it a party look. And like I said, the airheads come in a variety of different colors. So you can use just one color or you can use all the colors. And actually they're really tasty too. Of course this cake would be a favorite for a kid's party. Graduation's just around the corner of where I live and um, so a lot of people are doing graduation cakes and just doing a lot of celebration type of stuff right now. So I'm going to wrap one more of these orange ones. See how simple that is? You just wrap it around, slide it off, and then stick it on the cake. Actually, I'm going to change this off because I don't want the two orange together. Okay. Now, with my blue icing, I'm going to make little clouds. And then I'm going to take a small piece that I cut of the rainbow and make little rainbows. So it looks like little clouds and little rainbows. How simple is that? And I like this because you can see the design in all directions of the cake. And you can put more rainbows if you want. Obviously if you have a larger cake you can make more rainbows. and they literally just stick in there, which is so nice. I've actually done this on top of cupcakes, which makes a really cute design on top of cupcakes, little rainbow cupcakes, okay? Then I always like to give my cake height. So I took some of those Dots candies, I put them on a wood stick, which we sell these on our website, but you can also use a bamboo stick like this, or you can use a toothpick. And I just threaded them on. And to give a cake height, you just stick these into the cake like this. 
And I love the fact that it's all the same color. It's all the bright reds, yellows, greens, oranges. And there you have your beautiful, super simple celebration cake. But you can also write along here if you want to, but if you don't have a need to write on it, you can do your own decoration. So here I'm just doing some U's just to kind of decorate the side. The nice thing about this is that it's a cake that you can keep out, you know, during the party. You don't have to keep it refrigerated and it's just so colorful, so beautiful. I only had to use one color of icing, but the rest of the colors comes from things that you can just buy at the grocery store, which is so simple. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get started and make your next celebration cake. Thanks again for joining us. We're always here to help you out at SweetArtFactory.com. Thanks a lot.